Hello friends, welcome back to Slide Hand with the video tutorial on C programming. In our previous tutorial, we had learned about automatic register and static storage class. If you don't watch that video, please check my video description, there I put the link. Now here we are gonna learn about external storage class. To declare a variable with external storage class, First write the keyword extern, then data type, and then variable name, let's say x. This statement indicates x is on variable with external storage class. A variable with external storage class is stored to the memory and its default initial value is 0. Next one is scope. The scope of the variable with external storage class is global. As the scope of this variable is global, it can be used from any function. This is the declaration of the variable with external storage class. Now I'm gonna define it. As the external storage class has the global property, we need to define it outside the main function. We know that a global variable need to define before the main function. But an external storage class variable can be defined anywhere in the program. So I'm gonna define it outside the main function. int x. I'm not gonna initialize it to any value. Let's print the value of x. Print a value of x equal to percent d. Add here a new line. And here we refer x. Let's check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print x equal to 0. Because its default initial value is 0. Now I'm gonna initialize x equal to 20. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print x equal to 20. Now obvious question is, what is the need of this declaration? We need to declare here x since it is being used in printf statement before its definition is encounter. This declaration indicates x is defined somewhere in the program after the main function. But if we define x before the main function, then we no need to use this statement. Let's check, cut it and paste here. Now I'm gonna delete this statement. Let's check the output. Compile and run. As you can see here, the program runs successfully and it print x equal to 20. The next thing is, the life of the variable with external storage class is gonna be as long as the program execution doesn't come to an end. So this variable is available to all the functions. Here I'm gonna tell you another thing, inside the main function I'm gonna define x equal to 10 and then I'm gonna call here a function named display. Now we define the function void display. Inside this function I'm gonna print the value of x, print f value of x in display function equal to percent d and here we refer x. Here x is defined at two places, one inside the main function and one outside the main function. When the control reads the printer statement in main function, which x gets printed? Whenever such a conflict arises, it's the local variable gets preference over the global variables. So this printf statement will print x equal to 10. Let's check it. Compile and run. As you can see here, it print x equal to 10. And then it print value of x in display function 20. When display function is called and control reads here, this printf statement will print x equal to 20 because this x is global variable. 
So this was our storage classes in C. Let's see a quick recap of four storage classes. Here are the four storage classes automatic, register, static and external. And these are the properties of the storage classes. First property is storage. Automatic storage class variable is stored to the memory. Register storage class variable is stored to the CPU register. And static and external storage class variable is stored to the memory. Next property is default initial value. For automatic and register storage class, default initial value is garbage value. And for static and external storage class variable, default initial value is 0. Next property is scope. For automatic register and static storage class variable, it is local to the block in which the variable is defined. And for external storage class variable, the scope is global. Next is lifetime. For automatic and register storage class, till the control remains within the block in which the variable is defined. For static storage class, the value of the variable passes between different function calls. And for external storage class, as long as the program execution doesn't come to an end. This is it. Hope you understand. If you like this video, please share it and click on the like button on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Get in touch with us. Visit us on YouTube at youtube.com slash slide hunt. Join us on Facebook at facebook.com slash slide hunt. Follow us on Twitter and Google Plus also.